Welcome back to the channel guys and welcome back to another pattern test video. Today I'm going to pattern test my Benelli Ethos Cordoba 28 gauge, 28 inch barrel with the best choke, which is actually what comes with it when you purchase this gun. And it's a cryo choke that comes with it. It's an improved modified. I had a full one, it was too full. It was like shooting golf balls. But I'm gonna pattern test this one and then I'm gonna do the molar choke on the next video, so stay tuned to see that. And I wanna see the difference. On a prior video I did that if you wanna watch, you can check it out right here, it was really good. I followed along with what Jimmy Moeller said to do as far as patterning it, checking your barrel and all that stuff without the choke in. Um, I'm not gonna do that on this video. I'm just gonna do 20 yards and 40 yards with this. I will be shooting heavy 12, three inch, six shot, a one ounce shot charge and it's going at 1350 feet per second and if you know anything about what we've talked about in our podcast and Jim Moeller has really brought up is the feet per second is crucial and this is about the perfect speed that or a little bit less between 12 and 1350 is a really good speed anything over that you start blowing your pattern out and that's what a lot of ammo companies do nowadays is they're really too fast. I'm excited, I think that's why I have really good accuracy with this gun, I'm excited to see what this is gonna do and see how much better the molar choke does than this. And so to have a lethal shot on a duck, you want 70 to 100 pellets inside a 30 inch circle. I got the target up right now. It is the Chase Waterfowl pattern testing paper. And man, I love it. Thank you again for sending that man. Uh, he has great, now he has uh, turkey. He has, uh, you can buy widgeon pattern testing paper, Pentel, all kinds of different ducks. Go check him out on his website, chasewaterfowl.com. And I wanna say thank you for sending me these. Um, it's got great information on it. So we're gonna be shooting at that at 20 yards and 40 yards. I'm not gonna check my barrel. I'm just gonna do a regular pattern test with this. And I'm gonna be doing, just because the fact the ammo is not cheap, I'm gonna be doing a four shot pattern. So four shots at 20 yards and then four shots at 40 yards. And then I'm gonna take the average of those four, divide it by four and with all the pellets that are gonna be on there and then we'll give you a average per shot that we're getting. You guys wanna hear more about pattern testing, about ammo, about the chokes, all the stuff, you can check out the MVM show. You can do it on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, any of that good stuff. And I'm telling you right now, it will change your thinking. It's definitely changed mine and I proved it. And not just by hearing somebody say something and believing them, I did it myself last duck season. So I'm really looking forward to this duck season. Uh, my accuracy went way up, got better patterns from a choke and and the good ammo. So we're gonna go ahead and get started and let's see what we get. This is the cryo choke improved modified. And in the next video, we'll be comparing it with a molar passing choke. Shot number one. Shot number two. Shot number three. Shot number four. That's spitting lasers. Tell you what, you're not gonna really see, I think the big difference until you hit the 40 yard mark. Cause that's just 20 yards is close, but I'm gonna pull that off and change the paper. We're gonna move back to 40 yards. That's that, we'll uh, check this out and we'll count this up. We're gonna do it at the end. So I'm, gonna, I'm back to 40 yards now. Again, it's just the factory chokes that come with it. We're gonna do 40 yards, four shots and see how it does. Shot number two. Three. Four. I think I kind of pulled on that one. Let's go check it out, I'm gonna go grab it and then I'm gonna count them and then we'll show you what it looks like and what numbers we got. Before I do the closing details on this video, check out Molar Chokes, the description down below, check out Molar Chokes. They're by far the best chokes I've ever shot. You can go in there and put in our code MVM2024 and get 10% off on molar chokes. I'm not even gonna try to count the 20 yard one because it's so tight. There's hardly, I would say there's only about 10 outside of the 20 inch circle. If you look, I'll just kind of scroll around. There's only like 10 pellets even in the 30 inch at 20 yards. That's how tight that is. And then that's four shells and it, I don't even, I'm not, I don't even know what the average is, but I'm just going to tell you right now, I looked it up, give or take in a three inch, six shot, 28 gauge, one ounce charge is about 230 to 240. 
so that's what's going on down there okay now we're gonna look at the the 40 yard one which looks really good actually okay this is at 40 yards look how good that for a 28 gauge with only about 230 230 to 240 pellets look how good this still looks there's not hardly any flyers and so my total for four shells was about approximately 469 pellets and my average per shot was 117 at 40 yards with the factory improved modified so I'm really excited to see in the next video what this looks like. I know it's not apples to apples because I'm going to be using a pass. And well, it could be, I guess. But anyways, that's what we're getting. That's the numbers. Yeah, I mean, you only need 70 to 100 to be lethal on a duck. So you could still push that out probably to 50 yards. And as you know, in some of my videos, I've talked about how I've shot ducks. Like say a cripple in the water just made a bad shot or something just shot in the backside of the duck i have shot a duck easily for sure at 50 yards i i think i shot that eurasian closer to 60 to be honest with you and i obviously i took that shot because it was a euro that's euro that's euro left 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 euro oh my god yes yes <laughs> 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 Dude, thank you. I would have never seen it. And I'm super confident with that gun. And I mean, it just folded it. It was still a little bit alive when we got to it. You can watch that video here if you like duck hunting videos. It was a awesome, awesome hunt. But anyways, um, that's going to be that for this video. Um, really stay tuned for this next one. I'll have the next video right behind this. And by the time, if some of you watch this later on, a while after it's recorded, I'll put right here in the corner the link uh, to the next video of the card. You can watch what the molar choke does and the difference. I think, I could be wrong, but I think it's gonna be a noticeable difference. It was a little heavy on the right side. That could be just me pulling. There's a pretty strong wind too, but at 40 yards, I mean, I know it does push it a little bit. So anyways, thanks for watching. Again, give this video a thumbs up and we'll see you guys on the next one.